Hey, go and get it there. Go and get it down right down there. Hey. Oh. What is up, Shakers and Groovy? Shit Show Disco here, and we are in the portable studio in Brisbane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, which boy, Bodhi? How are you, my dude? What is up? What is up? What is up? What is up? Thank you for having me, man. Oh, mate, pleasure. Had to appreciate being here. (laughs) Had to come up the M1 to uh, to get in touch with the Brisbane crew. Have to, have to. You know, got to do the right thing. (laughs) Now, uh, you may know uh, Brody from his own DJing, but also his one half of Bow. Yes, yes. Now, before we continue, what half of the Bow are you? I am the B from (laughs) Bow. That is about it. (laughs) Well, okay. Let me put it this way: Are you the filling? Or, or the, I'm more the the outer layer. Yeah, and Tao is the delicious filling. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, I just do all the bullshit on the outside, and Tao looks good and plays all the good music. So, <laughs> yeah, you put him there, and and, and he's the tasty bit. <laughs> yeah, he is the tasty bit. Nah, he he's awesome. Nah, he's that's awesome. sick, man. Now, uh, for those that don't know uh, what you do, just yeah, give, uh, give him a little holler. Yeah, so I I DJ. Um, in clubs and stuff around Brisbane. Yep. I was at a lot of venues early on in the year, and I'm kind of glad. I'm not glad that COVID hit, but I'm glad that we were able to step back. Yeah, have and a I've, breath. Yeah, man, I kind of peeled it back to just two clubs at the moment. Oh, I just picked up a third residency, actually, uh, at Prohibition. So I'm yep. playing at Sukasa uh, Kittens, which is a strip club. Yeah. <laughs> Don't judge, right? It's a, it's a cool place. Mate. And then, yeah, Prohibition, and also now and again, Stockies. But, yep. yeah, so... I just DJ there. I trying to make music, man, but that yeah. shit is that shit is goddamn yeah. hard. Man. It turns out people aren't yeah. joking when they're like, you know, I've been doing this for ten to fifteen years. <laughs> yeah, legit. <laughs> I've only been producing for about a year. Yeah. Um, but I, I did lose everything the other weekend because I got too drunk. Oh, I saw that. And you lost, I lost your bag. bag. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and I had man. my hard drive in it. And like my usually, when you lose a bag, it's like three hundred max. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like. yeah, bro. <laughs> but now I'm fucking. Yeah, I had to start all over because it had my iTunes in it. Yeah. Had all my luckily I didn't have Ableton in it, but I had my um yeah, my iTunes, all my music. Project files. And yeah, man, project files, everything. So So if anyone watching this finds a bag, I yeah, yeah, man. If you find a bag, please give it back. <laughs> yeah. A champion bum bag with a hard drive and yeah. a set of fucking good headphones in it. Please bring it yeah. back to me. Yeah, because there'll be a reward. There'll uh, be a reward. I'll think of something. Gratitude. <laughs> a lot of gratitude. A lot of love. A lot of kisses. <laughs> yeah. A lot of hugs. <laughs> now, uh, how long do you reckon you have been playing for? Uh, so I started in 2017. Yeah. So before DJing, I was working in the mines. And then I remember seeing like an ad when I was fucking up north somewhere. Yeah. In the middle of like literally nowhere. Um, in this place called Georgetown. <laughs> they have one shop, which is like a petrol station. A fucking a Woolworths. Yeah. And then uh, and also like a... Might have 10 or something. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So there's a tiny town, right? Um, yeah, I was up there working and then I saw this ad come up and it was like, learn how to DJ for free. And it was a Your Shot ad. So oh, I was yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And I, like, I was like, yeah, fuck it. I'm just going to take my chances. Yeah. Had like two, three weeks left and I told them, I was like, oh, this is my two week notice. Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be my last shift out here. And then, yeah, yeah. When we came back here, sat in the fucking stinking hot sun. For like two hours in the line. Yeah, at Birdies. Yeah, yeah at Birdies, yeah, yeah, man. Yeah. And then, yeah, went up, did my interview with Kane, fucking Dippy. Yeah. Good man. Let me in because my cousin's played for the Knights. <laughs> He's a big Knights fan, so. <laughs> yeah, yeah shout, shout out, out Knights. Not, not this year, bro. <laughs> yeah, oh, fucking hell. <laughs> Hopeless. Come on, Pierce. Mate. <laughs> sort it out, <laughs> Sort, it, sort out. it out. Sort no. it out. Yeah, and then, so, yeah, so I've been DJing for about three years now. Yeah. Um, yeah, not as long as um, a lot of people expect me to be playing yeah. and stuff, like, the stuff that I've done and what I've done in three years is yeah, dude, you made moves quickly. Yeah, yeah, man, I've tried to anyway. Mm. So, yeah, yeah, three, super. Three, so about three short, years. Yeah, three short years. Three short plus COVID, man. So yeah. it's really two. Like, let's yeah. be real. <laughs> yeah, man, legit. So, two and a half. Yeah, and uh, so obviously, bow. Uh, bow has ha- been that's been around for what's about about a year, year? now. Yeah. yeah. So we started September last year, but we thought about the idea um, early last year as well, and then went to Splendor. Played at Splendor, pulled Tao up on stage. Yeah. And then after Splendor, when we got back, we went to Stockies and we're like, fuck, we should, we should just, we should, yeah, we should yeah. just make a duo. Yeah. And so, yeah, well, what we in call the, that ourselves? That was in the Captain Morgan's 10 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Fucking yeah, sent it, cunt. Bro, hey. That was heaving, yeah, cunt, yeah. as well. Yeah. Yeah. I, Loved I, it. I remember everyone, I walked in there to see, it was just such a vibe. Yeah, like, man. From all the together people, the Sunny Day Boys, and then like, just I like the difference. Like you could walk in there and they'd be like banging disco, yeah, yeah. and then it's like tech, and then you guys are just like womp womp. <laughs> fucking sick. Do shit that I do. 
Yeah, fucking hood. Yeah, so uh, uh, sorry. So you went to then Stockies and you yeah, were like. Yeah, and then we were just like, yeah, fuck, let's make it a thing. Um, and then we did a bit of planning behind it, got some press shots up first. Yeah. And then, yeah, made the socials. Heaps of people supported us. Yeah. Um, heaps of love, heaps of love. So thank you to everyone that yeah. did support Shout me. out to everyone. Yeah, we appreciate it. Yeah. Um, yeah, and it just went from there. We uh, we got our first gig at... FOMO? No, no, we got our first gig at Tuskies. It was our first show, but it wasn't like anyone really there. And then yeah. we got our first big one at our squeeze club supporting yeah. Tiger Lily. Uh-huh. And we honestly didn't think there was going to be much to it, but like people stuck around after yeah. her, which was amazing. She had Squeeze a, is the one out at... Uh, I forgot, what's uh, it called? Alexandra Hills? Alexandra Hills, Hills. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alexandra Hills. Yeah. And yeah, people stuck around and we were so surprised. We were like, oh, usually people leave after you know, the headline. Yeah. People stuck around. It was a 1,500 person show. There must have been at least still like 1,300 people nice. there. And yeah, we so just, you just hated it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> and Tal was like, "I've never played in front of this many yeah. people before." And yeah. we're like, "Fucking, let's just send yeah, it." Yeah, let's go in. in. Yeah, and um, yeah, we sent it. Did perfect. Uh, had Dane and Julia there, or had Dane there, video, uh, yeah. videoing everything, yeah. man. And it just kind of blew up from there because we got some good footage. We had our socials looking good. Yeah. And then yeah, that video we just sent to to fucking other bookers, and yeah. they're like, "Fuck yeah, this looks sick." Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. It just Which um, for those out there, guys, like that's. <laughs> Literally 80% of your career is yeah, getting legit. all that tight. <laughs> it's just content. Yeah, literally. Yeah, like, yeah, if, yeah. if someone sees that and they go, oh, far out, there's a big crowd, they can obviously do it. Yeah. See, like, <laughs> it's, legit. Uh, it's legit. honestly DJing and song selection, very important. Very important. But, <laughs> but it is also learning how to market yourself, which yeah. is also super important. Yeah, um. very, very important. Very important. <laughs> yeah. Now, like you said, you played about three years ago. Um, mm. Other than your shot, what was your first gig? Oh, my first gig outside of your show. It was a fucking train wreck. That's yeah, what yeah. it was. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my boy Phil, um, who used to run the, the Saturday Fridays. Used to run Lost, actually. Yeah. So he used to do all the bookings and shit for Lost. And he was looking for someone to do their Christmas party in 2017. Yeah. And it was like the main time. And I was like, fuck it. You know, I'll just dive in. I'll go head yeah, first. Yeah. Never used CDJs before. <laughs> You went like hard. You went straight in. Yeah, like, like proper straight. I'd never even looked at CDJs, bro. And I went in and I was like, bro, I don't know how to use these. Yeah, I fucking don't know how to use these. Yeah. Played for fifteen minutes. Got. I was like, I took. I kicked myself off. I was like, nah, this is stupid. Don't fucking don't let me play. And then I disappeared for like three or four months. Went underground for four yeah, months. Yeah, bro. <laughs> Too ashamed to talk to him. Man. And then I was like, finally grew the balls after doing a competition at Brighties or something. Yeah. And I was like, hey, bro. I'm sorry. I'm for sorry. Christmas. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm sorry about that night. Um, I'd really like to, you know, have the opportunity to make up for it because I yeah. feel like I've gotten better. Um, I'll play for free. I don't care. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. Just let me play. And he was like, "Yeah, we'll throw you on the Thursdays." And then from there, I went from you know, doing Lost. That was my first residency doing Lost, and then moving into other fucking clubs and playing yeah. there, and then being picked up by a Together Agency, and then yeah. you know. Fucking, Keep doing cool shit, so yeah. I'm super stoked about it. Yeah, that's sick, Big man. love it's, to it's, my man, Phil. Yeah, <laughs> shout out <laughs> all boy. from Phil. And I think yeah. the big thing to take from that is, guys, like, just dive in. Yeah, man. And even if you get bounced, just fucking come back. <laughs> like, yeah. It doesn't matter how shit you do, as long as you have the humility to be like, yeah, fuck it. I was shit, but I've gotten better. Like, yeah. give me an opportunity. To yeah, play. hard. That's yeah. half the battle, isn't And it? if you do get bounced, don't be a dick about it. Just be like, you know, oh, take I'm it. Yeah. Take don't it. be like, no, nah, that's your right. fucking dick's fault. This, fucking, yeah. this is perfect. Okay, so yeah. I got bounced. <laughs> not oh like, not, not, no, I didn't actually get bounced, but um, the mad Hueys were like at Rattlesnake when I was playing there one day. Oh, God. And I just wasn't <laughs> taking requests from their people. Yeah. Like, I just, don't yeah. be leaning across the decks trying yeah. to like flex about it. Yeah. Because yeah. I didn't know who they were. Anyway, my friend screenshotted a message and sent it to me. And it I was like, I read it quickly while I was playing. And then it wasn't until like a month later. Yeah. I read it again and it said, this C word's shit. Yeah. But I thought it was like, this guy's the shit. Yeah. <laughs> so when I read it while I was yeah. DJing, and I was like, yeah. Fuck yeah. Read it afterwards. like through, And I was yeah. like, oh my God. They really don't like me. <laughs> so, and you know, the Mad Hueys only have like a couple of followers on their Instagram. Yeah, yeah. So for them to put that on their Instagram as a story, oh, I was like, I was hell. like, that's sick, boys. So if you're watching, sick. <laughs> <laughs> your dog's not. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Now, uh, how did you come up with your DJ name? Obviously, it's your name, but you just uh, thought. Yeah, um, I couldn't think of a good name. And I, 
Like, there's no offense to any other DJs, but I just think having DJ in front of your DJ yeah. name is corny as fuck. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so I was just like, I am not going to be DJ Bodie. Or I'm not going to be, you know, DJ Flex or yeah. some yeah. fucking, yeah. you know, something. Yeah. It works for some people, and that's yeah. cool, man. But, like, I was like, mm, nah, I'll just go with Bodie and then be a little confusing and throw an X in it. Just, yeah. so, just to change it up. Yeah, and then people would be like, how do you spell, how do you say that? And I was yeah. like, oh, it's just Bodie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Catch people's eyes and shit like that as well. Because they'll be like, what the fuck is this exotic <laughs> name? <laughs> this guy must be an international. Yeah, he must be a weirdo. You know, fucking. <laughs> That's, or yeah. even like on your, I think it's on your Instagram, you've like, like it's how you say it. Like you've Oh, yeah, like, yeah. So Bo and then D. Yeah. You stupid bitch. <laughs> yeah, it's just a photo of me like this. And then it's just like, <laughs> it's pronounced Bo, D, you stupid bitch. Yeah. Bo, like bow and arrow. D, yeah. <laughs> now, uh, how would you describe the genre you play? And I'm talking about when you're there doing your thing as Bow. Not oh, just yeah. a random gig, you know? So when I'm there as Bodhi, I play a lot of hip-hop. But I, I I try to, you know, if I'm doing a headline where the club has no restriction on any music, yeah. because I have done headlines at places like Famous, and then I've played at pe- places like Rattlesnake, yeah. where, like, Famous is, like, hip-hop orientated, yeah. Rattles kind of just, like, party. Yeah, you know? yeah. But if I was to do a Bodhi headline set, I would probably bounce between party, and but not, like, too corny or cheesy. Yeah. But, yeah, so... Since COVID, man, my, my taste in music has changed mm. and the kind of music I like to play is a lot different. So I do play like like underground kind of hip hop or like drill music and, yeah. and a new wave of hip hop. And then I move slightly into like a bit of tech house and techno. And, yeah. then, and then I go into fucking a bit of trap and dub and then back around it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. My BPM range is 70 to 180. So yeah. <laughs> like yeah. And everything no, in between. Yeah. Yeah. And everything in between. So there's no real restriction on... um what I can and can't play or yeah. what I do and don't want to play. So. Yeah, I think a lot of people have kind of taken, <coughs> taken COVID as like a yeah, kind a of really of. like you know, hone their craft and mm, work out what mm. they want to do because even me personally, I found myself trying to be like, well, if I enjoy playing this hip hop song, why can't I mix out of a house track and drop yeah, it and have legit. it run me like, oh! <laughs> Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like if I want to play what's popping after some <laughs> yeah, yeah, house legit. track. Like, but it's all like, you know, within reason and yeah. like as long as it, it's okay with the club. And yeah, person. definitely. Um, but yeah, as Bao, um, me and Tao did collectively decide that um, we wouldn't be playing hip hop. Yeah, like, okay. Like, we wouldn't play a strictly hip hop set as Bao because, um, one, we didn't want to, like, we're already hip hop DJs. Yes. Like, you know, yeah. and we wanted to do more EDM stuff. And, like, we love house music. We love fucking, we love dub. We love trap. We love yeah. drum and bass. We love everything. Yeah. And we want to be able to play that kind of music that we don't normally get to play. Yeah, sure. And also, like, a lot of hip-hop DJs don't get headline sets no. at festivals and stuff no, like that. And yeah. that's, like, eventually a goal. Like, mm. Apart if you're, I mean, if you're A-Track and you're an absolute weapon on the decks, you know. Yeah, it's different. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 But even then, like, most of his headlines are, are EDM-orientated, yeah. you know. So, yeah, we wanted to, to aim high and be like, well, the way we get there isn't via hip-hop. Yes. If, even though we still, like, Tao makes hip-hop beats and... Yeah. I make hip hop beats. Yeah. We'll still be like hip hop orientated yeah. individually, but as Bell. Yeah. But also, you'll play like a breakdown of a trap track that goes into a well known hip hop song. That yeah, yeah, of up course. Fire. Yeah, yeah, legit. You know? And like we play, like saying that we don't play hip hop strictly sets. Like we do still play hip hop edits and stuff into our tracks. Yes. Like we have one that's like, um, you know. Uh, the N word in Paris. I don't. I feel uncomfortable saying that. I get you, one hundred percent, bro. Bro, <laughs> it sounds corny, bro, but I'm solid, <laughs> when, mate. When that song comes on and people sing it, or like when people sing "Reel It In" by Amine, yeah, and it's yeah, like yeah. I got the bat, and they yeah, say it, I'm um, just like, "Have you been to America? <laughs> Have yes. you been overseas?" Yeah. <laughs> I mean, like growing up, I, I was called that word yeah. a lot by like people, but I still oh, feel okay. like I still feel slightly uncomfortable. Yeah, one hundred percent. Especially if, like a lot of people are going to see this, you know. Yeah, hundred um, percent. And I know a lot of people have mixed emotions about yeah. the word. So, yeah. So like we have the the N word in Paris um, edit, and then it goes into like um, "Look at Me" by X X X. Can never say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tentacion. Yeah. Yeah. It goes into that track, and like those are just strictly hip hop songs. So like we will play hip hop, but we won't play like a whole fucking. Well, you got to bring them down and then bring them yeah, back up to yeah, that light. Man. So as long as it's hype. <laughs> that's, my, yeah. that's my canon. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck, we love canon. Yeah, right. That's why I started those videos. Yeah. See? Yeah. Good content. <laughs> canon. Loves the canon, man. <laughs> loves the canon. Fuck. Now, uh, obviously, you know, music's massive in your life now. Mm. Uh, has it always been pretty pretty influential? Yeah, man. So um, as a Samoan growing up, music is, is pretty much like 
like indented in you. Yeah. So like yeah. when you go to church, it's choirs yeah. and you know, and you do after, like a lot of music revolves around religion as well back in Salem also. Yeah. Even if it's not about religion, um, a lot of our performances and all yes, that kind of yeah. stuff, you know, it's musically orientated and like slap dances and sivers yes. and yeah. all that kind of stuff. So like growing up, we did have a lot of music. My dad loves music. Um, not, he didn't, didn't really like hip hop. But, so we listened to like, um, if it wasn't reggae or like, Reggae, yeah, yeah. If it wasn't reggae or reggae, <laughs> if it wasn't reggae, we were listening to the radio, which was like you know those ones that are like seventies, yes. eighties, nineties, and yeah. now, yeah. yeah. So grew up listening to a lot of like really old music, yeah, uh, and didn't really listen to any like hip hop or R and B until I moved in with my mum mm. in like the early two thousands, yeah. And so, but yeah, music has always been a big part of my Man, life. It's, yeah. it's funny you say that. Like even when I've been overseas, I know. Vanuatu isn't Samoa or yeah. Fiji. Just uh, the the reggae influence there, like every track, every radio station, oh, ridiculous. It's just <laughs> wild. And also talking about you know hymns and prayers and stuff. Mm. I know this is like I'm. It's more Fiji that I see doing this, but before an NRL match or afterwards when they're all arm in yeah, arm yeah, yeah. and they're singing the I forget what it, it's like the ode or the da da, da yeah, and yeah. it's just such a yeah. vibe and man, <laughs> yeah, man it just it's makes me feel like part of it yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah and I just love the fact that there's forty extremely built male <laughs> meant yeah. to be you know men you know men, men don't, don't sing, sing. Yeah, yeah. and here they are just like oh they love it yeah it's oh. it's a big part of it um yeah especially like um. I played footy with a lot of Islanders and a lot yeah. of Fijians and Tongans and stuff. And we sat around doing cover yeah. after yeah. after the games, man. You'd be sitting around singing like a, v- a variety of songs because all the Islanders will learn each other's songs. Yeah. So we'd be singing like Fijian songs and Tongan That's songs so and Samoan songs. And we just sit there, wait to be served and stuff like yeah. that. And Mate, Carver's a vibe, eh? <laughs> you Fijians are cheeky, man. Yeah. That shit doesn't come up in breathalyzers, you dogs. <laughs> <laughs> man, I, yeah, I... Um, when we were away, we went to... So when we were in Vanuatu, we were like, I want to go to a proper carver bar. Yeah. You know, I don't want to go to, you know, uh, the the Meriton mm. carver bar where all the tourists no, go. And no, we said no. to this guy, we're like, take us up in the mountains. And he took us up to this red light place. <coughs> and a little guy a guy we were with, we won't talk about him, he was like <laughs> the ring of the trip, was trying to, you know, yeah, yeah, trying yeah, to yeah. show he had the moves. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he bloody banged like five of them. <laughs> I still Dickhead. remember on the way Dickhead. home, and he's in the bank. And the guy's driving, and he's like, this is... You're a bit all good. And he's just in the back, like, oh, I'm rolling. Yeah. Man, I remember the first time I had Carver and my whole mouth went numb. Yeah. And I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. And then my leg, I couldn't feel my legs. Yeah. And I was like, oh, man. What do they do to this shit? What is this muddy water? What the fuck is this? Yeah. <laughs> it tastes oh. like shit. <laughs> and now I can't feel my arms. Like, but I had another cup. Yeah. But I'm oh. feeling good. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, like you said, music's been around for ages. Um, mm. How old do you reckon were when you first can remember music? You know, being... Would have been church or, you know. Yeah, it would have been church, man. Um, easily, yeah, just whenever you have to. So before the service started, I, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, which yeah. is like surprising to a lot yeah. of people apparently. Um, and before the service starts, you sing you sing like a song out of this book. And yeah. It was, fuck, the songs went on for ages. <laughs> yeah, but it was like a t- t- typical Samoan church song. Yeah. which went like, they go forever. Yeah. And then you'd sit down and then like, like a quarter of the way, you would sing songs four times yeah. in the service. You'd stand up like a quarter of the way through, sing a song, sit down, and halfway, sing yeah. a song, sit yeah. down. And then at the end, you'd stand up, sing a song, sit down, and then everyone just says goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that was probably the first time. And I'd remember, I'd be like, well, what? Because like, I couldn't understand Samoan at the time. Yes, okay. I was, I was uh, like very young. Yeah. And I was like, Man, I don't understand any of this. this yeah. is, like in my head, I was like, "This is silly." Yeah. But I, I, I get it. You know, now I can understand now why people like do the do the singing and the, the singers mm. and all that kind of stuff. The community so. brings everyone. Yeah, together. yeah, oh, man. Like, <laughs> it's just yeah. so funny because you'd see like it become a competition to some people. Yeah. <laughs> like everyone's just like casually singing, and then there's like the one auntie in the room yeah. is just like. Ah! <laughs> like going ham and then the uncle in the back's like just, operatic just fucking singing sister shit. act four. Oh, bro. yeah so unnecessary oh, nice man yeah. now uh, it's it's obviously totally different you know I grew up Christian and we did a bit of singing but you know it wasn't like yeah eight minute interludes of, <laughs> of songs yeah. but it's just so wild because now you've got me thinking about it and I was always like oh what's my first memory but now I come to think of it it probably is yeah. like it is those family times because 
Damn. You didn't have a choice, bro, <laughs> did you? <laughs> nah, nah. Nah, man. But like, I, I grew up as a Jehovah's Witness, so my church experience was a lot different from... Yeah, um, I can imagine. Like, yeah. you know, the other normally, like, Christian side. Yeah, well, for me, it was like, like Easter, Christmas. <laughs> yeah. And like, yeah, well, I didn't yeah. get to celebrate that kind of stuff. Yeah. So um, I think my first birthday was, was like... My first birthday celebration was when it was yeah was when I was about fifteen yeah, and that was like when I had my first Christmas as well like yeah, my first wow. proper Christmas um yeah so my experience with like church and all that kind of stuff was a lot different from the other kids because I know that they all do like youth groups and they mm. all do like you know stuff that try Friday to, night activities yeah, and yeah. yeah stuff that really like incorporated the youth where the church I went to was kind of like you came in a suit you presented yes. yourself well in front of God yeah um like if you turn up. You know, fucking, they'll kick you out of the hall because you're yeah. an eyesore. Yeah, hundred you know? percent. Yeah. yeah, it was it was like a a bit of a cult <laughs> sort yeah. of like yeah. judgmental sort of thing. Yeah. So they yeah. scared you into, into yeah, into yeah, the Lord. yeah. And like they were like, I know that our songs were written down in these like books that have been handed down for generations wow. and stuff. Where these these other Christian like families and stuff, they would have you know just Sundays, yes. and they would go and do their their services, and then they'll do like. White Sunday performances, so these kids get all this stuff ready, and yeah. it's, like, yeah, it's super cool. Well, I was like, damn, we had to go to church, church Sunday, Bible study Monday, yeah. church Wednesday, and then Saturday we had to go preaching. So I went to church like four or five yeah. times a week, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it was ridiculous, oh, man. man. You know, but the shows you have commitment and you can put your mind to something. So yeah. you know, there you go, bro. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so growing up, obviously, other than that type of stuff, what was what kind of music were you listening to? You know, when you were young, when you were in high school. What were your um, jams? So, yeah, when I was younger, man, uh, a lot of it was, um, like, you know, really old school. And then when I moved in with my mum, after, like, a few things happened, uh, my brothers and sisters, they all they all listened to, like, you know, R&B and hip-hop. Yeah, yeah. You know, early 2000s stuff, man, you know, uh, Dr. Dre, Tupac, yeah. Biggie. Um, because my brother and sister couldn't speak English. Oh, wow. So the way they learned how to speak English was uh, music actually helped a lot. So my brother learned how to speak English listening to Tupac and Biggie and Bone Thugs and Harmony and, you know, like all these rappers, man. Yeah. It was crazy. So he was, my brother was a big rap fan. So I, I like grew up and I was listening to Tupac and, you know, um, Dr. Dre's album, you know, Snoop Dogg, Pharrell, yeah. like all that stuff. Yeah. Um, when, you know, when I moved in with my mum and my sisters were all listening to like Beyonce and yeah. boy bands and, yeah. you know, all that corny shit from yeah. 2000s, man. Yeah. yeah. Um, so to do with like your brothers and sisters <coughs> that couldn't speak, you know, proper English, mm. was did you find they'd say things after like how much did it really help them learn listening to that type of music? Um, so I actually like I didn't really grow up with them. Okay. Yeah, it wasn't until I moved in with my yeah. mum and dad that like I would talk to them sometimes, yeah. but they can still they could still fluently speak yeah. Samoan. And, yeah. Um, but yeah, they would if they couldn't figure like <laughs> sometimes they'd get frustrated because they yeah. couldn't figure out the word. Yeah, so they'd just like <laughs> like scratch their head and then just say it and start them on. Yeah, and you just be like, oh yeah, so, yeah. 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 Oh, man, no, just, I just find that so interesting. Um, yeah. Like language is just such an interesting thing. Like after being overseas so many times, like mm. when I was in Mexico, my friends were all like, "Well, you didn't go over and learn like." words that they speak and I was like nah man like I'd just be like vodka lama soda they would not take that well yeah, <laughs> like yeah. um, so can you remember uh, what was the first record or CD or cassette you were purchased or you bought as a, as a kid oh man we were poor so I, I never yeah. I never I was never bought any CDs but yeah. um, damn the first record I, I it was not a record but yeah, I no, was no. I was bought uh, well, see, I've got the question is record, CD, or MP3 in <laughs> case I interview a 15 year old. Yeah, yeah no, nah, no. Nah. So it's not, it wasn't actually. Um, so I, they bought it for me and they took the CD off it. So it was like a Robin Williams fucking, yeah. um, like uh, my cousins bought it for me. It was like a Robin Williams fucking like magazine or something. And yeah, it came yeah. like in a little plastic bag with a CD. Yeah, 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 yeah. And it was back when he had the track. Um, with a video clip, he rips off all his skin and he's like rollerblading. Oh, fuck it. <laughs> oh man, it's um, it's fucking. You mean Robbie Williams? Robbie. Oh yeah. yeah. As in the English dude. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm yeah. trying to think what. It's um, rock. It's not rock DJ. It is. Yeah, it but is. bro, that song. <laughs> I'm glad you bought that song up, bro. So I think that is the most underrated song. It is, man. It slaps. Oh, like, I fucking love it. So I talk about it all the time, but the lyrics are. Don't give no head, no backstage <laughs> passes. passes yeah. Bro, if Biggie <laughs> sung that, people... <laughs> <laughs> like, that'd be a timeless yeah, track. Yeah. So I was, I was saying to friends, I was like, we need to get 
I don't know someone like AB Original or someone like that to do a like a version yeah, of yeah, that legit, song. Yeah, man. <laughs> fucking oath. I remember Tao played at their stockies once and I was just like, fucking yes, cunt. <laughs> I haven't heard this in Dude, years. Dude, it's such a, And when you listen to those older songs, you're like, wow, this is actually like. Ahead of its time, brother. You're yeah, like the yeah. production's there. Yeah, yeah. Like all that stuff. You just, man, that's yeah. so funny. <laughs> so that was the first track. Yeah, was, man, like, that is. No, no wonder <laughs> you're doing so well. Bro, that makes so much more it's sense. so weird, eh? That was the first one bought for me or like anything yeah. musically related yeah. that was bought for me. Yeah. That's sick, man. Fucking shout out to Robbie. Yeah, yeah. that dude was a. <laughs> if anyone hasn't seen it, there's a DVD called Live at Nebworth. Get oh, into that. Yes. <laughs> that, that is a vibe. Fucking awesome. Yeah, <laughs> Pulls yeah, this fucking chick out of the crowd. Yeah. It might be set up. <laughs> Who it knows? might be set up. Fuck, he's, <laughs> but he still does it. He's a fucking gangster. <laughs> yeah. That's what he is, man. Yeah. Yeah. Now, uh, you've played a lot of shows uh, mm-hmm. in, in your short time. What, what's one that, what's your favourite? What's the my one? Favourite? Be that um, you or Bao or... Um, fuck, my favourite probably have to be Splendour. Yeah. When I got to, to, I know I wasn't supposed to bring friends on the stage. I know I wasn't supposed to do all yeah. that dumb shit, but I was entertaining. But it was a fellow DJ. Oh uh, yeah, I brought up Tal because yeah. he was playing at Splendor. So I was yeah. like, surely yeah. it's alright. He gets like, the pass. <laughs> yeah, like he gets the guest pass. <laughs> yeah, he should sure. be allowed up there. Fucking, yeah, he's, he's a DJ here as yeah. well. Um, yeah, being able to pull him up on stage and play with me. I think I just remember walking in and seeing him with like the do rag on his yeah. head. Like, oh, it was a towel. <laughs> towel. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we both had towel. I had a bucket hat and a towel <laughs> on my head because it was fucking hot, yeah, oh, man. Dude. Holy shit. Dude, dude. Sweat <laughs> and it was pit. freezing at night. They were like, oh yeah, it gets cold. I was like, I can't get sure. that cold. <laughs> no, I, first, year nice. I went, first year I went, I stuffed up. Yeah. Like I didn't have enough. And then mm. when I went, I started going, I took take thermals, bro. Yeah, man. I was like, the next day I was like, fuck it. I don't care where we go, even if we have to drive an hour. Get me to go get some thermals, gun. It is too fucking cold out here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, so uh, obviously Splendor brings yeah, out. That was, um, cause that's like the birth. The yeah, un- was, the, yeah birth the birth of Bow. Well, yeah, the birth of Bow. <laughs> and then um, after that, it'd probably be, you know, the um, the the show that I was talking about with Tiger Lily. Yep, yep. And then also FOMO. Like, we didn't we didn't put on an awesome performance. We didn't play. Oh, I mean, like, we, we played good. Yeah. But we didn't get played a, in front of, like, a million people because um, we were opening. But just being able to, to say that we're on the lineup. Yeah, 100%. Like, like actually on the lineup. Yeah, it wasn't man. just like, oh, we'll slot you in and you yeah. can play in between. You're not playing on the side stage. You're like on the lineup. Yeah. With like people like Lizzo and Giggs yeah. and fucking Rico bro, Brock Nasty. Hampton. Yeah, Brock Hampton, uh, Kate Renata, bro. bro. Kate Renata. That's Insane. The I think I actually, yeah, because I came in and saw you that night. And yeah. I was... I was, I was staring through walls, I reckon. <laughs> I was fucking... Yeah, <laughs> man, that was insane. And when Lizzo pulled up, we were fucking... Her military <laughs> fucking grade vans and shit, bro. Wild, hey. Yeah. I um, I watched that the uh, chat with Dave Letterman or whatever. Really, yeah. and she was on. She was on a recent one. Man, she's just so talented. She is, bro. She's <laughs> great. My missus loves her. Yeah. And my missus is a big fan of her, and I think Lizzo is fucking amazing. Yeah. Too. Like I, I like I appreciated her music at first, but then watching her talk about like posit- uh, body positivity, yeah, and just her just wanting to be herself and not having to be. You know, fucking size eight. grateful that people appreciate her for being big and yeah. all that kind of stuff. I was like, fuck it, yeah. no. <laughs> yeah, she talks about it heaps on yeah, the show with she's him. she's fucking awesome. She's a bad bitch. Yeah, she, that's full she, show. She's a bad <laughs> bitch. <laughs> I mean, I don't know the words. That's not... That's a, I like football. Um, now, obviously... Go sports. <laughs> yeah, go sports. Now, you've uh, you've seen a lot of shows as well. Mm. Uh, are there any shows that you've seen that have really inspired you? Oh man, watching Travis Scott back in 2016. Yeah. And listen out. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. That was like. So that's probably when Goosebumps was fresh, eh? Yeah. Yeah. Back when he dropped um, his fucking Birds in the Trap sing McKnight. Yeah. Not too long after that. And I remember like listening to it over and over again because yeah. people were like, Travis Scott, Travis Scott, Travis Scott. And I was like, who the fuck is this yeah. cunt? <laughs> two. <laughs> Two first names? <laughs> yeah. Two, two fir- you can't trust people with two yeah. first names. James John? Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Travis Scott? Nah. nah. Oh. Yeah. And then, like, he, like, the lights dipped. I didn't even care about ASAP Ferg. He performed yeah. before him. I was like, hurry the fuck up. Really? Like, yeah, man. Yeah. I loved I used to love Ferg, eh? Yeah. And then, then the lights dipped, like, halfway through his performance. And then all you hear is him, like, running around. Like through the mic And everyone's like What the fuck is going on Lights turn back on Fucking Goosebumps is playing Yeah He's on top he's, of the truck yeah, Next to the fucking stage He's going ham Yeah Oh man Yeah That was Probably the best performance I've seen live Cause didn't he Like he Like you, you said he got on top of the truck But didn't he do something else Where he like I'm even thinking of another artist Where he kind of They turned all the lights off And he appeared up 
Oh, I'm trying to think who it is. Maybe it is the truck thing. Because someone was oh, telling me about it and they said it was just wild. Yeah, yeah. It was insane. Like, it was fucking... I was like, what is he doing up over there? I was really <laughs> How'd like, he get on that truck? I was already pretty far from the stage. Yeah. And then, like, I looked to the right and he's there. I'm like, I'm even closer. <laughs> yes. Travis. Yeah, Travis. Travis. Travis, I love you. Yeah, but um, also just watching watching the homies on big stage, man, is, yeah. like, super inspiring yeah. for me. Um, watching, like, people like Noi and Dimes. Yeah. And, you know, all the, the people that kind of hang out with and seeing them on stage, I'm yeah. like, I'm going to be fucking there one day. Yeah, yeah. dude, hard. Yeah. yeah, it's definitely, um, like, I know down the Gold Coast, <coughs> especially me and Brock from together, we've been mm. talking about it heaps, just like, it's getting to that stage where, like, it's a changing of the guard. Yeah, man. And all of us are kind of just, like, been creeping. <laughs> yeah. And we're at that stage where we, we know we can go, but we're just mm. all kind of, like, oh. Kind of waiting. Oh. Yeah, just, <laughs> like. <laughs> on edge. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, talking about being on edge, uh, you've been playing a few shows since COVID. Mm-hmm. How are you taking the no dancing vibe? What's the... Ah, uh, man, it's weird, eh? Not, mm. a, <laughs> not a fan. Not a fan, but, no. you know, it is what it is. You can't really, yeah. can't really do anything about yeah. it. Um, I'll take it as it comes. Yeah. You, know? you had any bad experiences from punters or anything? Give, giving you a bit of grief for it or not uh, really? Not so much for the dancing, but yeah. just for, like, requests and shit. Yeah. Like, fuck, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because you're not in your... You're not you're <laughs> doing these ones yeah, like normal, yeah, whereas yeah. when you're just like... I mean, like, Sukasa has been awesome because... The, the patrons vibe no matter what like yeah. they'll still be sitting down and you'll just see arms go in the air yeah. and you'll hear them yell and they'll just fucking like people in the booth will start fucking throwing ice and shit and it's, <laughs> right, just get, wasn't that just videos of you guys throwing <laughs> ice yeah. 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 no yeah it's, it's fucking awesome yeah. like it's a vibe there so there's there's not really too much of a problem there but I know once dancing is allowed oh, dude. and capacities are, are back to normal fuck that club's gonna go off right <laughs> mate I can, honestly I can, <laughs> I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I was talking yeah. to um, Amanda, the owner of the yacht club, the other day, and I've been on there a fair bit. And she's just like, I don't know what we're going to do. I'd love to play on the yacht right. club. Uh, Amanda, <laughs> if you're watching. <laughs> Amanda, if you're watching. <laughs> and you, and you, you wanna, need a base takeover. Yeah, you want to <laughs> fucking, you know, spice it up a little. Some hip hop nights and stuff. <laughs> I got you. I got you. Mate, I'll, I'll pass it on. I'll pass it on. Because yeah. that's the other thing, too. Like I said, shoot my shot while I can. <laughs> <laughs> She's actually in Brisbane at the moment. I was just talking to her. Was like, Amanda! <laughs> What's doing? <laughs> but, um, yeah, dude, nah, that's, uh, I can't wait. I just can't. Like, even the other week, I played a, a house party. And I don't usually, like, I, I don't usually do it. Just because, mm. you know, we think we're too cool now. I'm just like, <laughs> I couldn't be bothered taking decks and shit. Yeah, like, yeah, just man. all that normal stuff. But anyway. All that bullshit. All that stuff. <laughs> and I did it. And I got so nervous. And I found myself grabbing for tracks. Yeah. Being man. like, maybe, maybe I can't. Make them dance anymore. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck is wrong with these yeah, kids, man? Like maybe yeah. I've lost my groove. Yeah, maybe I'm just old, man. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't got this no more. Yeah, literally. <laughs> literally. But then it was okay, guys. Just went fucking murder on the dance floor straight into American Boy and that yeah. fucking yeah. sorted yeah. of Fucking that that sort of sort of You can never go wrong with murder on the dance floor. <laughs> yeah. now, so, uh, is Madonna still alive? Uh, is she, is yeah. she still alive and kicking? Yes, yeah, fit out too. Damn. That song's by Sophie Ellis Baxter, but yeah. Oh, damn. But, but, <laughs> but shout out to Madonna. Shout out to Madonna. Equally as hot. Yeah. Well, uh, Hoping up with Drake, I mean, fuck, if you can do that. Yeah. And Dennis on. Rodman. Gee, yeah, yeah, she married Dennis Rodman. Cheeky. Yeah. And oh, before that's right. it was yeah. cool. Yeah, before it was cool, yeah. Before it was oh, no. Because Dennis Rodman was married to someone else and then he cheated on her. Yeah, that's right. What a freak. So, Dennis, if you're watching. <laughs> <laughs> shout out my boy, Denny. Shout out my boy, Dennis. <laughs> the dude that made coloured hair cool before yeah. Jaden Smith and Tyler the what Creator. What a bad man. Yeah. I thought he used to be a weird kind of, but now I'm like painting my nails and yeah. shit. And now <laughs> you're like, wait, he's, he's just expressing himself. He's fucking cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> he's just expressing himself. Yeah. Now, uh, apart from the music you play, when you're at home listening to tunes, what 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 songs like you gets you in the feels? You ever oh, listen to man. anything and it's just like oh man, so so at home I had like people just seem to think I listen to like hype stuff all the time, yeah, yeah. and I'm just at home listening to like fucking heavy rap music, <laughs> <laughs> and it's it's not man. I listen to a lot of slow like soul and hip hop, yeah, like, like Leon Harry. Bridges, uh, Anderson yeah, Pack. like a, yeah, Anderson Pack, yeah. Alan Mai, um, Halia. You know, fucking all that kind of jams. Stuff. Yeah, man. Just yeah. shit, you know, you can just sit and bop to it. Yeah. Just have in the background. Yeah. and then Stuff you can cook dinner to. Yeah, just, man. Yeah. yeah. So there's one thing that I've been getting into heaps and it's um the colours. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. YouTube colors. fucking yeah. thing, man. Where they just bring in artists and they just have this blank pack of background. Yeah. And they just get these artists to perform their so they're like one track. Yeah. Just It's just a mic drops down. Yeah. And they just fucking just go yeah. in, man. The gold link one ruins me. 
Yeah, <laughs> Gold Link, um, the black one. Yeah. Fuck, I've got a few. I just can't remember the artist yeah. names around there. Man, they're, they're yeah, it's it's definitely cool. Sir. Fuck, he's oh, awesome. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't it feel like, yeah, <laughs> oh, man, man. All these, like yeah. the other day I played like two of his tracks on the yacht and these yeah. dudes came up to me and they were like, man, I thought like this was going to be like raving the whole time, but then you played like Sir and I was like, oh, today might be all right. <laughs> yeah, no, man, like, yeah. Just playing Love Jams. Yeah, like, oh, but then, yeah, Sir's, yeah, something yeah, about that's him. A, that's, a sh- that's a shit I listen to. And then I listen to like old stuff, like a bit of fucking, um, you know, Marvin Gaye, yeah. a bit of fucking... You know, throwback 70 soul music, bro. I Let's fucking, get it. I'll yeah, fucking. man. I'll just be sitting at home, like, serenading myself. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just, yeah, just enjoying it. Yeah, yeah. dude, hard. Now, uh, we've come to the time of the show. Yo, Jai, could you please pass me that sausage? Because I forgot it. Oh, that God. was just a big shout out to Big Jai. <laughs> big dog, Jai. Oh, thank you so much, mate. Just pass me your, your sausage there. Cheers, <laughs> mate. <laughs> now, uh, this is uh, the, the uh, silly <laughs> sausage. <laughs> Not on camera, no sausage on camera. Now, oh, uh, this is the silly sausage, mate. You just press that button in the middle to give it a whirl, and uh, uh, okay, <laughs> yeah, right, ready. What is it? Sixty. Oh, bro, we were cooked. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> that's too good, man. That's Fuck still off. Good. <laughs> that's all right. Good work, my dude. That's dog shit. <laughs> <laughs> right, that was a third of the score. Gee, we got King Kong above us. <laughs> <red of five. laughs> well, I'm not sure there's not many levels up from here. <laughs> oh, man, that's not bad, bro. 27. Damn. That's all right. I'm that's disappointed, <laughs> but it is what it is. <laughs> it is what, you know what? It's probably not going to affect me in the future, but right now it really right. sucks. <laughs> this shit hurts, man. <laughs> now, uh, if I was to go out to your car, mm-hmm. turn it on, you know, what, what, what's playing? What's, what's coming on? Oh, man. Uh, fuck. Hold on. Right now. My, oh, That's my drink, not my, my phone. Ph- my phone's up there. Um, uh, probably either some black, some um, Memphis yeah. by oh, I can't remember the group's name, but they're a cool little group from from um thing. They're like like a younger Brockhampton. Cool. Okay. Mixed with like Odd Future sort of. Yeah, advice. yeah, cool. That's fucking awesome. Yeah. Um, probably some Mahalia, maybe some Alamo. Probably some old stuff, man. Yeah. Some some two thousand shit. Some really old, some old school Usher. Oh, really? Yeah. Like let it burn yeah. and all those nah, like, nah, nah. like like um, fuck, like you can call me or oh, oh like old old yeah, yeah man like ninety shit bro yeah nice yeah. back when Usher was younger <laughs> younger and fitter yeah. and slaying. Uh, now, if you had only one song you could listen to for the rest of your life on repeat, what would it be? Damn. Mm. One song on repeat. Fucking, um, probably, uh, fuck, I can't remember what the track's name is, but it's, it's a Mahalia track, and I, I think it's called um, I Know What You Did. Yeah, okay. And it's like, it's sampled from an older song yeah. as well, so it's, it's fucking awesome. It's my favorite song, and it features Alamai in it as oh. well, so it's like, Two of my favourite female Just artists. Just vibing together. Man, yeah. It's fucking awesome, bro. Yeah. Now, uh, obviously, COVID, you know, it's, it's been a bit of a bit of a shit year for everyone doing mm. what they're doing. Um, mate, you guys fucking kicked off the live streams. That we did. That we did. Big success. Big success. <laughs> Not for your liver. <laughs> no, fuck no. Um, we drank so many beers. <laughs> you were donating all your money pretty much to charities, yeah, which is yeah, massive. Uh, five grand. Which is I huge. Yeah, just over five grand, yeah. Huge. Fucking nice. Like, bro, <laughs> straight up, man. <laughs> Thank you, man. Like, Thank you. <laughs> um, now, do you want to kind of tell people about that, what, what you were doing? Uh, yeah, so originally we were just like, oh, Bow needs a bit of money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. good To like, kick off this merch stuff that we're doing. But then we were just like, you know what? Fuck it. We'll, like, we feel ratchet taking money off viewers. Yeah. So we're just going to take the money and then we're going to donate it. So basically we were just like, 
Every fifteen dollars that you donate, we'll smack a beer, <laughs> and we'll donate the fifteen dollars yeah. to whatever the charity of the week is. Yeah. So we would have, you know, guest artists in every week or guest DJs. They would come in and would be like, well, you know, what charity do you want to donate to this week? Yeah. And we did charities like the Ronald McDonald House, um, you know, shit against domestic violence, you yeah. know, helping um, homeless women and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah, and then we also did like a, a shoe giveaway with Point Store. Shout out my boy um, Miles yeah. helping us out and the yeah. team from Points. Yeah, um, yeah, some pretty sweet Jordans too. Yeah, right? man, yeah. Around the time of the last <coughs> dance too, yeah, so yes, they were man. hot items. They were hot, man. <laughs> yeah. So we had two pairs. You know, we had the females and the males. Um, yeah, and we ended up raising fuck like fifteen hundred dollars. Wow, from those two pairs. Huge. Yeah, sold yeah sold out all the tickets, and it was it was fucking cool, man. Was, yeah. And yeah, gave away that. Raised twelve hundred on the last last episode of the first season, uh, with Dippy and LJ and yeah, Shaw, yeah. and fuck, we got silly drunk. Yeah, <laughs> and then yeah, the se- the second season we didn't re- raise as much money. Uh, we focused more on the production side of things. Yeah. Um. So yeah, the season finale for the season two looked really good. Yeah. But because we couldn't do the, yo, you donated fifteen bucks, we're gonna smack yeah. some beers. Yeah. Like, we couldn't stop like halfway through, like, an artist fucking... Yeah, thing, yeah. yeah. We wanted to make it look, like, professional, so... Yeah, 100%. Um, so, yeah, we only really raised, like, $150, I think. Yeah. Um, but, you know, any money's but good. But as money. well, the second season, work was coming back for people. People yeah. weren't at home, you know, like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, that, that was, first season, everyone was on hard lockdown, hey? Yeah, hard lockdown. No, so no. everyone was just tuning in, getting blind at home. So yeah. And no clubs were open. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so all they all they had was fucking, you know, live streaming. And uh, and then, obviously, you had the, the big premiere for the second or the season two ending party which was yeah. pretty big production yeah man huge production uh, shout out prestige group yeah. from the gold coast uh shout out treadman yeah tread good man thank you <laughs> appreciate it man um yeah so we had all the lighting and all that kind of stuff shout out our boys uh james as well um he was doing all running all the lighting as yeah. well good man for, <laughs> yeah. for doing that for us and then dan and julia as well yeah. the camera content Chris. kings content kings man Kings and Queens. Um, yeah, and we did that, and that was awesome. Having, like, Creed the Kid, um, St. Lane, yeah. Travi P, some OGs from the Brisbane scene, man. Yeah. You know, having them come through and show some love was fucking Wild. awesome. Yeah, it was fucking awesome, yeah. man. Um, I didn't expect those guys to, to want to do it. Yeah, you know? yeah. yeah. I did yeah. 100%. Yeah, but they, they came through, they fucking... Nailed yeah, they it. showed up. Yeah, yeah, man, yeah. So that, that was awesome. That was Actually, awesome. I saw St. Lane play uh, a few weeks ago, and I was pretty, like... Fuck yeah. I was like, man. Oh, man, I'm a big fan of yeah. St. Lane. I've been a fan since he was like um, Harry or fucking whoever, the oh. other, when it was a duo. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so, <clears throat> yeah, I've been a big fan since then, man. Yeah, um, man, his flow is like... He's insane. He's yeah. super creative. Yeah, oh, Funny no, I think that too. was the big thing. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, it, it was almost like a stand-up show and then he's like rapping. <laughs> yeah. Like, the cunt's got fucking endless stories too, yeah. man. Like, he was telling me some of the shit he got up to and I was like, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> How old are you? Yeah. <laughs> what, what have you been up to, man? Yeah. Oh, man, that's sick. Yeah. Now, uh, so the live streams were a success and then obviously mm. off the back of that and during that you've released your collective of your bow clothing. Yes, yes. So in February, we did our first launch. We did the crew collective stuff, which I'm wearing now. Um, and that was that was awesome. Uh, we had, it was crazy. We sold out within fuck, like six to eight hours. Yeah. What was, your, uh, what was your drop? How many did you drop? Uh, we dropped, well, originally we were only going to do like 30. Yeah. And then 30 went, went to 50 and then 50 went to 70. Yeah. And then we did something like 80 or some, some shit yeah. like that. Which for anyone like, out there that's, created a clothing brand over covid yeah. you will know how hard that is yeah that and that's is, <laughs> yeah that's a pre-sale as yeah, well yeah and then so we're going to do 30 pre-sale and then we're going to sell like an extra 20 or something because we thought 50 is like a good number to start yeah. with you know um because we're known for music and not really clothing no. so we didn't think we'd have that much support but we had so much support um and we're so grateful you know for everyone that yeah. ordered and then we did the uh, established nineteen coll- uh, collection, which was a couple months ago yeah, now, yeah. and that has more pieces of clothing than just the t shirt. So we had two planes, one striped, and then two polos. Yeah, and that sold out within forty eight hours, but we had like a fucking like yeah. close to like a hundred pieces or something, you know. Um, and people were buying. A lot of pressing, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Put your arms <laughs> <a> big, bro. <laughs> <laughs> no, but we had we had a lot of people buy like the five pieces, like oh, buy the whole everything. range. Yeah, yeah. So we had people dropping like two hundred bucks, three hundred bucks, and you know, and it was awesome seeing that kind of stuff. And we want to do a summer collective, but I think um, what we're going to do now is kind of 
hold back and try and get like a decent like a decent image or like you know decent designs where yeah. it isn't just you know plain tees where you know some people feel like they're getting ripped off because they're just getting like a little stamp on the t-shirt yeah. and all yeah. that kind of stuff yeah. but yeah we're, we're gonna work on getting some proper designs and some you know t- if you're paying 60 bucks for a tick you might as well support your boys and yeah, pay a bit of money yeah. For yeah man yeah but you know, for, I get it I get but it but we but. yeah be, since we 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 did everything ourselves. We were able to make shirts a lot cheaper. We yeah. see like a lot of merch people that are selling. You know, they're like eighty bucks, yeah, yeah. sixty to eighty yeah. bucks. And we we sold our shirts for forty, and then yeah. our polos for fifty. Yeah, which and is we, yeah, we were able to do that because we the sort of, AS color, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So which is like, like <laughs> premium. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We had the best fits. Yeah, yeah. Um, and we were able to do that because we were able to do that. We had you know a slash in prices, and we were still you know having a turnover of like sixty two percent or something. Like yeah. That. So. It was fucking yeah. You know, it was a win win for both sides. Yeah. Um, and we didn't we didn't want to give them like you know the sixty dollars shirts. And, oh, dude. And they're just like little stamps. Yeah, hundred <laughs> yeah. percent. So you yeah. do all the, you're doing all the pressing yourself. Yeah, 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 yeah. So Tal comes over, we fucking get the machine to cut it, do all the pressing. But we're looking at doing like um, you know, digital printing or fucking yeah. the other style and all that kind of stuff. But that stuff just takes way longer. And, <laughs> and money. It's, and, yeah, and yeah. it's like I, I want to learn the craft first as yeah. well. Like I don't want to just kind of just wing it and then sell people these fucking half-made shirts, yeah. you know? Yeah, yeah, 100%. So uh, as I was going with, with that question, you know, COVID's been a bit of a rocky year, mm. but, you know, you've ticked off some big things that you probably didn't think <laughs> you'd be doing, but you've no. found, like, different niches to fill in, kind of yeah, like middle yeah. and this, and, you know, you, we just, you're a creative, so you just want to... Yeah, keep going. Keep going. <laughs> now, yeah. uh, in saying that, mm. where do you see you guys... And you personally, and obviously mm. Val, in, in a year, what's, what's, in a, in what's a the year. goal? Damn, man, hopefully next year we're touring. And take COVID out of it. There's yeah, no yeah, COVID. Yeah. There's no COVID. The clubs are back to normal. Yeah. Hopefully we're touring, we're making our own, you know, originals, or we're yeah. making remixes, and we're working with big names, you know, like reasonably big names. Um, moving be, up the posters. Yeah, man, yeah, yeah, yeah. Moving up the fucking, the time slots, yeah, man. Yeah, <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, and we also really want to build our following in Brisbane, and... I know, like, we, I spoke about it briefly um, on another podcast that we're on. Yep. And, like, I, I know that a lot of people miss out on having, like, good home shows because they focus so much on touring yep. and doing, like, you know, outsource stuff rather than having, like, a solid fan base from where they're from. And I see that in a lot of, like, DJs. And, yeah, they're all looking to get there. Yeah, yeah, rather than, you know, trying to be here. And, yeah. and we've got, like, a decent following and supporting, but we want, like, you know, diehard fans yeah, and family yeah. and all that kind of yeah. stuff, man, you know. So hopefully a time comes where that's that is what you know what happens. Yeah, hundred percent, man. Now, uh, if you had the chance to sit down with three <coughs> people for dinner and just absorb everything from them, mm. obviously other than Robbie Williams, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> who would those? Uh, uh, who would those three people be? Uh damn, Prince. Oh, <laughs> bro, <laughs> musical genius. Bro, that Purple Rain, the movie, I uh. cry every time. That's like my after splendor watch. <laughs> I watched that on a plane <laughs> from Cuba to LA yeah. and I just remember being on it. I was coming down after a wedding. I've been away <laughs> in Mexico and this, oh, I just remember being on this plane and halfway through I look at my mate and I'm like, he's the purple rain. I was like, I didn't realize. <laughs> it's, it's purple rain, <laughs> man. Like, that's deep. Um, yeah, him, probably Michael Jackson purely because uh, he dogs Sony. <laughs> yeah. So I don't want to know how to dog the, yeah, <laughs> the music industry. Big dogs, yeah. uh, and then probably someone... Puff, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Like he's not, like he's not very like good. young Puff or Puff no, now, like, like puff, puff when he's jumping in music videos. Or uh, like. <laughs> nah, nah, Puff like now, man, yeah. where he's like, yeah. you know, strategically musically orientated, not like musically orientated, but business orientated yeah, yeah. wise. Um, yeah, from the music scene, those are the three people that I'd want to hang with. Yeah. Purely Puff. I was watching his um, South by Southwest, yeah, um, thing from last year, Wild. and it was just like. Man, there's so much shit this guy knows. I just thought he was in the back of music videos, fucking yeah, yeah uh huh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, fucking whispering shit while yeah. Biggie raps, you know, yeah, yeah but uh, just, <laughs> yeah. making him do corny ass dance. Man, those, I shit. like those three. That's a tight three. Yeah, man, all about. And not even that influential. All of them, eh? Like, <laughs> nah, nah, <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, fucking Prince because he's a musical genius. Yeah. Michael Jackson because he's also a musical yeah. genius. And, yeah, um, if you ever get the chance, you want to watch a cheeky little Prince video, yeah. watch his Super Bowl performance. Yeah. It is the greatest thing you'll ever see, yeah. ever. It's <laughs> like they tell this story about it and it's like 
torrential weather. I think yeah. it was in Miami. And they've got this recording where they call him and they're like, it's raining, like it could be dangerous. And he goes, make it rain more. <laughs> <laughs> what yeah. the fuck is You actually hear him say it. And then obviously he's singing Purple Rain. Yeah. In the rain, Fuck and you're yeah. just like, "There's a like, fucking boss." Man. Like, <laughs> but even he's like full deep prints, like make yeah. it rain. And then whenever I hear that, I just see Dave Chappelle playing him anyway. So it's like, <laughs> yeah, fuck it up. that's um, all we got. Now, uh, do you have any advice for any uh, up and coming musos or DJs or just creatives, man? Because let's um, be real, like that's kind of that's the mold at the moment. Yeah, fucking just start, man. Yeah. Start, start, and don't give up. Yeah, no matter how shit you think it is, or. Um, you know how bad you think it's going. Yeah, it'll go somewhere and it'll go eventually. Um, also, for musos or, or like DJs and stuff, uh, like we said earlier, um, being able to market yourself is super yeah. important. Um, you can be the best DJ you want, but being able to market yourself is super important. Learn how to be a businessman as well. Yeah, learn how, how to strike deals and you know negotiate your rates and yeah. all that kind of stuff. It's super helpful. Um, it's been something that I've been learning over the couple of years. Yeah, it's tough, man. Especially yeah. the rates and the negotiations. Yeah, like man, yeah. And it, that, you know, I'm I'm Bow's manager <laughs> yeah. sort of thing. So whenever I have to chat to people, you know, you always have to be confident and you have to, you know, fucking be able to say no to things and say yes to things. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes you don't have to, you don't do what you want to do, but you see past it and you'd be like okay it'll get us in a better position yeah. in the future and yeah just fucking just keep going keep at yeah. it and start yeah and start, fucking start, and start. And yeah, if you I didn't did. buy decks over isolation start <laughs> well, like yeah, man. I see so many people are like man I want to do a podcast I want to do this I want yeah. to do that and I'm like do it, bro. man you don't need all this fancy equipment yeah. you just need something to start with and just start yeah. just go bro literally season one I had just two like sticks holding these up and it was from like under the house we made like these full dodgy <laughs> booms yeah. and my housemate Mitch is like if they last four episodes I'll buy you ones <laughs> <laughs> you know, still God. didn't buy me ones did you <laughs> yeah, they last the whole first season you dog <laughs> <laughs> yeah man so um, that's, that's my big advice I yeah think, just yeah. get in get in and fucking don't stop yeah man. now uh, where can uh, some people catch you oh yeah man I'm at Sukasa or Kittens Fucking Thursday to Sunday. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Catch me there. I'm probably on clothes or anytime after midnight. Yeah. So yeah, catch me there. But December twelfth, Bow and Friends, we got some fucking some cool people joining us on That's the line. Right, little cheeky little yeah, warehouse. Cheeky, cheeky little warehouse party, you know, Bow's teaming up with Compound. Um, and we're gonna, you know, throw a little warehouse party. It's gonna be cool. Yeah. Be Who else dope. on the lineup? Who's on the you gotta Um so can't announce yet. I can't say he's just here, but we got to see that manager. Yeah. Manager, see this is the manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is the manager, buddy. Oh, nah, no, 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 I can't. I can't say just yet because we haven't announced yeah. uh, the actual party just yeah. yet. But we yeah. will in a couple of weeks. And um, yeah, it'll be good though. Don't worry. Yeah, well, I'm sure, dude. <laughs> Some uh, heavy hitters of Brisbane ooh, are joining us. Yeah. Ooh, might have to make the the trip up the M1. Fucking no, man. Fucking no. And we've got one cheeky special guest. We're trying to squeeze in. Yeah, if he fucking replies. Yeah. <laughs> Oi, also, big big advice to the to the you know up and coming DJs, reply to messages, you dogs. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're not cool enough to not be replying to yeah, messages. Hard, hard. Fucking oh. Dude, literally. <laughs> like, we seen it, bro. Yeah. I know you seen it. Like, I know that shit pop up in your messages. I see the tick next to it. You've got it. <laughs> Just read it. <laughs> uh, well, dude, um, thanks for coming on the show today. Uh, um, it's been sick having a chat, obviously, with I had a few times, but you know, not yeah. in this kind of setting. So thank you, my man. No, uh, thank you. Bro. I'm keen. I'm, I'm definitely might have to put that 12th in the in the calendar. Come on up, Make, hey, come, come up on to the dance. So. <laughs> and uh, yeah, cheers for coming on today, bro. Yeah, and man, uh, thank you for having me. Be well, my dude. Thank you. Peace. Yeah. <laughs> Woo. Sorted. And that is. Oh yeah. <laughs> just in time for the fucking.